Hey, Simleys, it's Delicacy here, and I'm excited to be building an ice cream bar or an ice cream store. Uh, I think I'm going to call it maybe Sunday Ice Creamery. Like you go there on a Sunday for Sundays. Get it? Get it? Ha, ha, ha. Um, but anyways, I just really wanted to build an ice cream shop since the stuff pack came out allowing you to make uh, ice creams with new ice cream machines. And I know this took a while to get out, but I'm excited that this weekend that just passed, I was able to actually do a little build, experiment with some of the new items and just make something bright and happy to have in our Sims games. And uh, it's up on the gallery. If you want to download it, just look for my user Delicacy with a capital D. Uh, but basically this ice cream shop, I was going to put a cash register in there so you could actually make it into a store store. But I thought I would leave it out. Um, so those of you who didn't have the get to work expansion pack could actually use it um, if you just had the stuff pack uh, but it would be really easy to add a cash register to here there's also going to be a cupcake machine and um, you could actually kind of sell what you make which would be cool to own an ice cream store so that's uh, I've actually well we will build a room where you could have uh, some extra like the bakery cool cabinets and stuff we could probably use that um for more than what it's going to be used for at the end of the build uh but anyways I feel really uh tired today I'm I'm just I had a really big day at work so if some of my commentary in this is a little bit off which I already feel like it is uh I do apologize just had a big day um, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because I did promise to build an ice cream store quite a while ago. But anyways, I had a lot of fun with this because we make it super duper bright, super duper vibrant, like I said. And we actually try and bring a summery feel of the outdoors indoors. So we use a lot of AstroTurf. AstroTurf is fake grass inside, which some of you guys might be like, what? Uh, but I thought the kitsch nature of that would actually go really well with the kitsch nature of ice cream. Uh, so that's what we do. So this is going to be a very stylized store. It's actually a really simple build. There's just a little bit of split leveling in it. But in terms of the roofing and the shape of the place, it's super duper 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 simple. And uh, it was just a nice little build to do. This is a bathroom and I actually wanted to have a men's side and a women's side and then have some sinks in the middle facing against the half wall there, uh, which is actually kind of a copy of what I've seen at a cafe in Melbourne. Uh, in Melbourne, there's this cafe called World Cafe or World Bar and it's on South Bank, uh, which is set along water so it's really nice and you can sit outside but the bathroom is really really cool because uh the men and women's bathrooms they're not separate rooms like obviously the toilets are in separate cubicles but it's very cleverly designed because when you come out you actually wash your hands kind of facing each other but there's a separation wall in between you and it, it's just done really well so I thought I'd try that out but uh, what I was just saying before is that we actually add a bit of a cool room. So we have fridges and stuff uh, where the women's bathroom was going to be. So then we just end up simplifying it and just have one male and one female toilet, which probably makes more sense for a venue like this that really realistically probably wouldn't have that many people in it or sims in it. Uh, but anyways, we are creating basically the bar area. And the nice thing about this venue in The Sims and the way I'd probably like to use it, if I don't have my own Sims running this as a store with a cash register using the Get to Work expansion pack, then I'd actually use this just as a venue to go to where you can just make your own ice creams and share it with some friends. So basically this bar is kind of open to the public. It's got the ice cream machines that we'll put in in a second and you can just make all your ice creams. Help yourself to the utilities available, or I mean the appliances available and yeah. There's a lot of white. We're going to introduce a lot of bright colors and it's definitely kid-friendly. It's almost got a bit of a juvie feel about it. And 
I don't know. I just like it. I just like it. Uh, tonight I had for dinner. Uh, I don't know why, but I always feel like when I <laughs> record a video now, I want to discuss what I did today or uh, what I ate or what I did. And I just feel like it's almost like every video I make, because I usually make one every day of the week um, or at least the working week, um, maybe one on a weekend if I miss one during the week. I... I just feel like it's almost like a diary entry. It's really, it's really strange because a lot of Let's Players, you know, you're there uh, just to play the game. But I feel like I commentate about what I did today. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, basically, today I worked because I work full time as a graphic designer. And then I, I had a really nice salad for lunch. I had a chicken salad with some goat's cheese and then I went to the gym and just did 20 minutes on the bike. I did some sit-ups and all of that jazz and oh right now we're building the cool room so we're just putting in these actually those little things that came with get to work those kind of science career what what, what do you call those like metal barrels is that a thing? Those came from get to work so whoopsies uh, there are a few items in here but at least uh, those are easy to replace. But anyway, that cool room you could change into a place where you actually have the ice cream and cabinets or cupcakes and cabinets because we are going to put the cupcake machine in soon. We put out the ice cream machines in all different colors of the rainbow to represent all the different flavors that you could create. And the ice cream graphics, if you haven't seen this uh, new stuff pack, they're really cool because you can put toppings on your ice creams. So they look really pretty. Anyways, after I went to the gym today... um. I then just worked and then I came home. Uh, I had a new person move into my house that I'm living in. I live in a share house. So that was really cool. She's really lovely and had a bit of a chin wag. And then I had rice with canned tuna mixed through it, salt and pepper with frozen peas, which isn't really the healthiest dinner ever. But uh, I was just, I'm just tired this evening. So I was like, you know what? I had a good lunch, had a good breakfast. I'll skip a little bit out on the dinner uh, and just eat well tomorrow. Anyways, this was kind of a cool idea I had. Uh, this is like a, a glass oversized. Uh, I got this glass from the debug area. So basically you do the cheat, bb.show hidden objects. To get the cheat window up, you actually go control shift C. And uh, then you type in debug, D-E-B-U-G into the search bar and it actually comes up with... Uh, all of these hidden objects and objects that usually find throughout gameplay. So glasses, I just sized that glass up using the plus key. Then I put in some water fountain objects and kind of made it look like an ice cream sundae. At least that was my aim. <laughs> uh, so that was a little bit of fun. When the fountain's actually running, it looks really cool. But one disappointing thing I did figure out that I kind of knew would happen, but I was just hoping it wouldn't. <laughs> well, uh, the... When you actually go into live mode, it the glass deletes itself. So that was disappointing. And then the fountains are just left floating. But if you place it while you're in live mode or in live mode, I forget which one it is, you uh, can place the glass there and it will remain there. But then your sim will actually clean it up. And my sim did clean up this humongous glass. She just picked it up like the like she would pick up a small glass. It was the funniest thing ever. So I, I did get a screenshot of that and I put it in at the end of the video. Oh my goodness, so funny. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, this is a really basic roofing that we're doing. Uh, definitely nothing too fancy. I wanted to do something fancy, but I was like, you know what? I want this just to be like a cute little ice cream store. I don't want it to be um, like full on designery or anything like that. So we just keep it nice. Like a little house that got converted into an ice cream store. I also decided that from the colors of those, uh, what do you call them? Shades at the front of the entrance at the entrance with the yellow stripes on it I decided that that would be kind of where I began to develop the color scheme from so it had yellow stripes so I, I'm trying yellow wallpaper we're trying a few different things I think we try blue and then when we go inside we actually go with this bright blue theme with bright yellow white and what else oh green so it's like Bright blue, bright yellow, bright green, which you guys are probably thinking, what are you doing? But it actually, 
it actually works. So I was happy with that. These shades look really good when you size them up. I love them oversized. So in a second, I actually decided that if you use the plus key and do increase their size, they look better than the original size. So in a little while, we're actually going to delete them and size them up. And, you know, comment down below if you agree they look just as good or if you think they would look better if they remained their usual size. Uh, oh no, not those ones. This one. Sorry. Oh no, that's another get to work thing. Oh, well, I've done a terrible job keeping with this no get to work theme. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, these ones look really good sized up. I thought they looked very contemporary, uh, which I, which I really like rather than keeping them small. So let me know what you think. Do you think they look better sized up? Do you think they look better sized down? And I love yellow and gray. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite a while, I am obsessed with yellow and gray. I don't know what it is. I just think they go so beautifully together. And it's just a really nice juxtaposition of a neutral color with a very, very bright color. Here's the cupcake machine in the corner. We're going to be making a few changes around the place as this continues to be built. Uh, this is definitely looking very bland for an ice cream shop at this stage, but uh, it's coming along, it's coming along. And also with the split leveling, you can't place a door uh, through the wall unless, uh, how do I explain this? You can't place a door through a wall whereby the split leveling has been deleted. So basically because I started off with this house, uh, standing on a higher level and then I deleted some of it to go down a level you have to go up a level again to get out of the door so you can't just put a door through a wall unfortunately I also today oh by the way I like this I like putting the windows along here that's just using the move objects on cheats and I'm holding alt to place these windows in an, an arrangement that doesn't snap to the grid uh so I don't know, I thought that looked kind of cool. It was a nice way to deal with the small space and to kind of control where you would walk or lead the person around the place. And I love these posters. These posters are so cool. And uh, these definitely, well, this poster in particular definitely brought the idea of introducing a blue palette in, blue-yellow palette. So I thought that was nice. And by having the shade indoors and putting hedges indoors, we're really getting that feeling of the outdoors being indoors. So... Uh, that was like a lot of outdoors, indoors just then, but I think it looks quite nice. I like it. I like it. And yeah, we try out a few things here. I was thinking white would be better to have just because it was looking a little bit too, I don't know, industrial or something with the other ones. So here I'm trying out, uh, just having the white there. And I think it goes really well with this idea of ice cream. Uh, because obviously ice cream is often very, uh, very stark white, naturally the vanilla flavor. Although I lie, because vanilla traditionally should be a vanilla color, not stark white. But uh, in terms of ice cream that you buy from the supermarket, at least in Australia, uh, it, it's definitely like white, 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 white. Um, not so much cream unless you buy probably maybe a little bit more of an expensive brand. I don't know. I don't even eat ice cream. I'm probably just making this up. You know what? It probably is a cream color, but in my head it's white because I never eat it because I'm lactose intolerant. So yeah, I think I just lied then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Here we are placing the most important object of this venue. And those are the ice cream machines. So we're just popping them in. I kind of like how the, uh, the, counters actually or bench benches actually cut into those windows just here I think they look really nice because they look like half sizes in benches in bench width I suppose or depth and these little um little garden boxes I think look quite cute and furthermore they bring in that idea or concept of the outdoors being indoors so little planters are quite cute just meant to look really really fresh and I love these lights I wish I could have turned those lights upside down I mean it'd be really cool if you could turn objects on angles like 360 degrees because then we could have sized one of those objects up and then put the Sunday sculpture in one of those uh, when you enter enter the venue I thought that would have been really good but oh well 
Oh, well, and again, we're putting in some outdoor chairs indoors. So that again brings that theme of the outdoors in sight. And we're going to put kind of some more child friendly things on the wall. Uh, definitely brings across that idea of it being a little bit kitsch, uh, a little bit cartoony. So, and of course, playful, kid friendly, uh, uplifting, all of those things. So that's what we're doing just there. I actually have booked myself in to get a couple of um, freckles or moles checked this week. So I'm going to a, um, well, I don't know how common this is in other countries of the world, but for those of you who don't know, Australia has a very high skin cancer rate uh, because uh, because we're like directly under the ozone layer. Well, all the hole in the ozone layer because everyone's under the ozone layer. But anyway, um, so if you have like a mole or a freckle that changes color or shape, you are advised to go to a skin clinic for that to be checked out and then removed. So I am going in um, tomorrow to just get a couple checked out. I'm not a very freckly person. I don't have many moles or freckles, but I just figured I would just get the couple I do have removed so I don't have to worry about them. So I'm going to go tomorrow to get that checked out. The reason why I'm telling you guys in this video, I guess, is to raise a little bit of awareness on the importance of Australians uh, to get to keep an eye on your freckles or moles and to get them checked, not to be afraid to get them checked. Um, just go in and um, just look after yourself. So that's why I'm going in and then I think maybe next week or the week after I'll actually get them cut out and removed so uh if they even if they tell me they're nothing to worry about I'm still going to get them cut out anyway just for peace of mind um then I don't I don't have to worry so that is why I wanted to tell you guys uh, I think it's good to um, make people aware of these things I don't think it's nearly as much of an issue in other countries in the world but um, definitely for Australia, it's very important. Uh, I really like this bathroom, how it's got the kind of lime green walls. This is definitely the, the kind of color I wouldn't put in my usual builds. Um, but I thought for this, it would be perfect. I love how a lot of the posters tie in with the colors of the interior of the, of the shop. And, um, I thought it was really important to do a bit of an outdoor seating area. So I, kind of fence off this area but then put a whole heap of outdoor tables here or, or three not a whole heap and we're just going with the green color to match all of the green surroundings and I, I just think the graphics in this game look so cute and uh, yeah so it's quite a private little place I definitely kept it small it is on a small block I could have added in a children's playgrounds but I kind of thought I'd want you guys to be able to add this into any block you have available in your game. So I guess I kept it simple and I kind of thought it's something I can add to my game depending on what Sims I want to take here. If I want it to have more of a teen feel, I probably don't want a playground. But then if I want to take kids and stuff here, then I can add it in. Just doing some simple landscaping. I find that if you place... Um, rather than trying to fill up every bit of green, you... You place kind of clusters uh, of different foliage and bushes and flowers apart and uh, then put some rocks in and then you kind of terrain paint it. So here you can see we're just building up certain little areas bit by bit with rocks and things. And then at the very end, I'll actually paint it with the terrain paint and it comes together quite, uh, quite well, I think. Once you put that painting in, it looks somewhat natural or at least realistic. Uh, even if it had been planted. And by the way, to make this work as a bar, because you are required to have certain items such as a bar, such as a TV, when sometimes you don't want those things in your build, I've actually added a secret basement underneath, which is just one enclosed room. There's no stairs going down where I've just placed that TV and that bar down there. So at least the public can still come here and it be an ice cream bar. Uh, so... I think I did that off camera. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Because at the end I realized, oh, damn, I can't upload this as a bar because I don't have, I haven't met all the requirements. So, 
yeah, we get rid of that soon. We're going to put another one of these Sunday fountains out the front. And unfortunately it does, it is a bit of a hassle to get this to work, but oh, well, at least, at least it was a fun idea to begin with. It does look pretty cool in live mode when the fountain's going, but oh, well, uh, we probably could have put those in a bowl looking sculpture. Like I could have sized up that little rounded uh, base of the fountain then into a bowl and kind of put the sundae in that. So that's definitely an idea if you do want to keep that. Uh, but I've already uploaded it now before I realized. <laughs> and we're putting in some trees that will actually plant and grow. I think an apple tree, which is kind of fun. So you can do a bit of gardening when you're here. And at some stage, I would like to build a public garden. I think that would be really nice. But anyways, yeah, it is. It's got an open door and you can see some of the ice creams there if you haven't seen those animations before. The entrance, uh, which is very bright, very friendly. And uh, we've got some very happy Sims there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'll be interested to hear what you guys think of this. Um, but again, it's just a nice little simple build. It's these little simple builds that I love to do. Um, you know, at the end of a day, um, when I've been busy and just to kick back, relax, do something nice, do something cute that I can enjoy using for my Sims or in my LPs on camera off camera. So, um, if you'd like to choose it, is it, it is available for download. But anyways, let me know what you'd like me to build next. There's the awkward floating Sunday and there's the big glass <laughs> that my Sim was clearing. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.